Hey guys, what's up? My name's Cameron Penner, and welcome back to How to Make a Platformer Artificial Intelligence. This one is going to be a little simpler than the other one, because this one, this video here, I'm going to show you how to make a bad guy that doesn't actually think, but just responds. So what we're going to do is we're going to have objects that tell the guy where to go, like object jump and we can give this a new sprite sprite jump we'll edit this sprite and make it black with a little red arrow and you can make this look good if you want or you can just leave it kinda trashy like mine I recommend trashy it makes you feel worse about yourself and we're gonna set visible to off and um, then we are going to go to our bad guy and as you might have seen from the other video uh, it's pretty much going to be the same as our guy he uh, when he hits the ground he stops moving when he's created he chooses a, a random direction to face and um, we're also going to check if um, to the side uh, four times facing relative what this is going to do is check to the side of whichever this guy's facing. And if that's free, then we want to move in that direction. Facing times four. Relative. If that didn't make sense. You can go ahead and check out the other video. Uh, I think I explained it pretty well in there. And uh, now we want to add an event, collision with jump. If there is a wall below us, then we will jump. No questions asked. Speed of negative 10. Now pretty much what this is going to do is whenever we have one of these jump things here our guy will jump. As, as you'll be able to see. Now our guy moves and then he hits this jump thing and then he jumps off of it. Of course, we also want our guy to turn around when he hits walls. So we are going to check if it's free, move, else we want to set facing, facioning. Uh, well, we'll actually call it facing instead of facioning. And we'll set it to facing times negative one. So when he comes up to a wall that he cannot um, pass through, he will turn around. If there is a wall below him. We don't want him to turn around if there isn't a wall below him because if he jumps and then he's about to get up a wall but there's a piece of a wall there, we don't want him to suddenly turn around. We want him to go and keep trying to push up the wall. Um, so we'll put in that little bit of code there. And now what we'll have is our guys go, then they turn around, and uh, and they run. And they will jump when they get to these invisible little jump markers. And they, and they actually look pretty good, like they're thinking. Um, we'll put some other jumpers in the level, uh, like here and here. Um, and you'll see our guys look like they almost know what they're doing. You'll see them come, come running around here and, and they'll try jumping and uh, they will jump every once in a while. So uh, so th this guy here is, is stuck and that's one of the problems of this this method. But as you can see this is a lot simpler way to make it look like your guy is moving around and thinking on his own when really he's not thinking at all. Uh, so if the other ver the other type of artificial intelligence I showed you is a little too confusing, hopefully this will make more sense and will be simpler. Now there's another, um, say we duplicate this and s call that sprite right. And then we rotate it to the right. Now we can make an object that is this oh oh 
and we'll call this object right. We'll give it the sprite right, and it's also invisible. And then we can put this in the room, and we can put it say right here, right here. Ha! Huh. Knee slapper. That was a that was a little hint at my terrible sense of humor. So now, when you see our guys come, and it might take a while to get there, but when a guy comes and he, and he uh, passes right through that because I didn't put any code in, uh, nothing will happen. But if we add a collision with object right, we can set the variable facing to 1. And pretty much what happens is whenever he hits the right arrow, he'll start moving to the right instead of the left. We can also just make a left one while we're at it and uh, make it invisible and duplicate this sprite call it left and uh, we can flip it and uh, now we also have a left object and we can throw that in the game just like we can throw anything in the game but uh, Ha! <laughs> Screw up our artificial intelligence, just like that. Um, anyways, and we can copy that and say collision with object left, well, set facing to negative one. Now, here we have when our guy comes in here, he, oh, oh, now he's stuck because we have a little invisible blocker here that says, hey, when you touch this, you should face the right. And he'll start moving to the right. And then another one here. So when you touch this, you should face to the left. And that will work. But what we want to do is um, we can put those on. If you have platforms like this and you say, I want a bad guy to be up here, but I don't want him to ever come down. Uh, you can just go like this and put a blocker there. And then these arrows are actually useful, which is good. Uh, so now our bad guy up there will never come down and uh, this this will work uh, so as you can see here this is a much simpler way of making bad guys look like they think and move around and uh, well they do move around but thanks for watching and I will see you next time